Hey everyone, so I want to let you know, um, I've had a couple of questions arise, arise about um, the block um, being a little bit coarse. If for some reason you are wanting um, it not to be as rough, simply take the coarse side of our Risen Legacy file, the back side, uh, without the writing is, is more coarse. Um, take your file and just buff one side of your buffer and it will get some of the some of the sandpaper off. You can do it as much as you like to your to whatever you're wanting. Um, that way you can have like a rough buffer and then if you want the smoother side, um, you can actually uh, with a really fine buffer, which um, we are getting some in. Um, I'm not sure the timeline on that, but those will be up for sale as well. But in the meantime, you can use a very fine buffer and buff the heck out of it, guys. You'll have to buff, buff um, your nail uh, because you will decrease the amount of like pores that are in um, that are in the acrylic. So you want to buff that very smoothly and. Um, a little secret but um, your oil from your nail from your hands and your nails your natural oils will eventually kind of get on the top of that but if you file it super fine um, and then just wash your hands you guys it will stay like a like a matte like almost a matte top coat what without the top coat of course um, it it's not gonna be like a super super flat matte um, because the oils from your hands will get on them, but it's actually gorgeous. And it's just kind of something I figured out because um, I'm on here and I change my nails all the time. So most of the time I don't have time to throw a top coat on them. Like I get them done, um, I file and buff, get them to where they look really good, and then I gotta go. I got, I got daily routines, I'm a mom, you know, um, school, get them, everything like that, we're all busy. So I never get around to really putting the top coat on, but I do buff buff the heck out of them, make them smooth, and you kind of get that matte slash um, just a little bit of, of shine from your natural oil. So um, another little quickie that I want to let you know is if um, you file and buff your nails, you guys, and sometimes you get cut on the side of your finger, sometimes you'll have to file a lot. Um, if if you are a one that cut yourself, this is a really good tool. So when you first get um, Risen Legacy's files, of course the one with the writing is finer grit, and the back is um, more coarse. Take your buffer, um, these both come with the Pro Kit, take your buffer and you will simply just turn your, turn your file, si whatever, sideways, whatever, take your buffer and just file you want to just file this right here. You'll file a lot of that coarse um, sandpaper off. You can do it on both sides or all sides. I actually do it with every new file because I don't want to cut anybody. But you take the new file. Are you guys talking to me? Nobody's saying anything? Who's on here? You'll take your file and file those off. That way as you're shaping for like your ballerina style and stuff like that, um, you're not going to split that side open and then have to wait for that to to heal and then you get a callus and then it looks like a, a really bad cuticle. So um, those are just a couple tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, don't forget, get your notifications on because um, we're having a little party later. Um, I've got a couple girls who are really, really good friends. Um, they love my product. Yay, Nini's on. They love my product, um, so uh, they are actually visiting. I'm so excited. One of them I, have, I haven't seen since I graduated, which was, doesn't look like it, but it was what, how long ago? 15 years ago. Ah, 15 years ago. I graduated, what, oh, four. Yeah, 15 Ooh. years ago. Yep, I'm, I'm feeling, I feel the old. <laughs> <laughs> um, party, Raisha, Raisha, just fly down, my love. I should have just kept your order here. 
Yes, Raisha. Um, yes, a couple girls are coming. We will probably go live. They're not here yet. They're on their way. So we'll probably go live a little bit later today. Um, and we're just going to, we're just going to, I'm going to try to set my camera up to where you can see all of us, but we're just going to kind of play around and do different, different things to swatches because we all have different nails. We all do different things. So, um, make sure you catch that video. It's going to be super fun. And to get everybody together that has not met, it's really cool. It's going to be cool. Which side should I be using to file the top of the nail? I end up with a lot of scratch marks from the file. Um, Ruth, are you used to... The top of the nail, don't use a file when I mean, you can, but it would be much better to use the buffer on top of the nail when you're buffing. Um, that way you can get the C-curve, the natural look. Um, and just use your file for the sides. And I also use my file. I'll use the fine grit side and take the edge of it and do like, can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me see. Ooh file like this around your cuticle area and that will kind of take off your new growth of cuticles and um, help them look more natural as they grow out. Good morning Faith or it's morning for us. Faith is over in um, Nigeria so it's probably I'm guessing probably not time. Yeah. Not time. Yep. Yeah. Have a good evening my love. Anyways, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I just wanted to share a couple tips and tricks for you. So thank you for watching and make sure um, you catch us later. It's going to be fun. Have a blessed weekend. Stay well, stay safe, and we will see you next live. Bye-bye.